So firstly, let's have a look at what are the minimum terms and conditions of employment in Australia that is going to be uh, applying to your locally engaged staff. One of the primary sources of minimum terms and conditions of employment in Australia is the National Employment Standards. These National Employment Standards can be found within the Fair Work Act and they provide for a baseline minimum 10 terms and conditions of employment. Firstly, they provide that there is a maximum of 38 hours a week that an employee can be asked to work. However, the National Employment Standards also provide for employees to work additional reasonable hours. How many hours is reasonable will depend on a range of factors that time does not permit going into now. Of course, I'm more than happy to provide you with advice as to your individual situation if you do have concerns about whether the additional hours being worked by your employees would be found to be reasonable if challenged. Secondly, there is a requirement that an employer must consider any request for flexible work arrangements, particularly to do with family uh, responsibilities. For example, an employee who might normally work nine to five uh, may request to work seven till three instead, thereby working the same number of hours but allowing them to leave at three to pick up their children. These requests must be considered by employers. They don't necessarily have to be agreed to, but they certainly must be given proper consideration and not refused unreasonably. Thirdly, the National Employment Standards provide for a range of parental leave and related entitlements. One uh, obvious one being 12 months unpaid maternity leave. Paid maternity leave, again, is, a, is a, a different matter that time does not permit uh, going into today, but under the National Employment Standards have a minimum of 12 months unpaid maternity leave with a guarantee that you can then come back to the position you held before you went on that leave. It also provides for National Employment Standards provide for things like a minimum uh, amount of annual leave and personal leave. 20 days annual leave a year for a full-time employee and 10 days personal leave. There is also a requirement that employees be granted an amount of unpaid community service leave. For example, volunteering in a local bushfire prevention brigade or the like. Long service leave is also provided for, as are basic entitlements such as public holidays, as well as now there is an entitlement to, depending on the employee's length of service, termination and redundancy pay. Finally, the National Employment Standards provide that every new employee must be given a fair work information statement, which essentially sets out the basic entitlements that the employee is, is able to receive under the National Employment Standards. So that fair work information statement must be given to all new locally engaged employees. In addition to the National Employment Standards, there are a series of awards. The award system has recently been modernised, so there are now a series of modern awards that apply to particular industries. And in addition to the National Employment Standards, these awards set a range of basic minimum terms and conditions of employment below which an employer is, is uh, prohibited from including in an employment contract.